trendy, unique, big lush green perforated leaves with holes. These are some special characteristic of today's plant and chances that you might have seen this foliage graphic on almost everything from throw pillow to the mugs to the t-shirt to the wallpaper. Yes, today I will be talking all about one of my favorite Monstera plant care. This large foliage plant is extraordinary, amazing and a great air purifier for reducing indoor air pollution. This is one of the trendiest plant for urban home decor because it gives a classy look to your indoor. This Monstera plant has many varieties but two varieties are most popular nowadays and you will find commonly in nursery. One is Monstera deliciosa the, uh, with this big leaves and second one is Monstera adansoni. Uh, this one uh, small leaves with these holes also known as Swiss cheese plant. Monstera have epiphyte roots which absorb nutrient from air like orchids and so they grow in a tropical rainforest attached to the tree trunks. And do you know friends its name Monstera came from Latin meaning abnormal because of its big abnormal odd looking perforated leaves that have holes. Monstera are species of evergreen tropical vine or shrub native to Central America. Part of Araceae, the aroid family. They are one of the few aroids that produce edible fruits and mostly Monstera deliciosa but rarely in indoor conditions. Why do Monstera have holes on their leaves? Monstera are famous for their natural leaf hole. Technical term for this is leaf fenestration. Some of you might be curious to know about these natural holes. There are so many theories behind that. But current theory suggests that it is because of lightning condition. As I mentioned, they are from tropical rainforest area where they grow below the big canopies of big trees attached to the tree trunk vertically. So in such dense condition to catch more light, these are natural adaptation made by nature that having leaves with hole helps to catch up more sunlight than a whole leaf. But Monstera develop this pattern leaves with age and size like other aroids leaf shape changes with age of the plant. When they are young, monstera leaves are similar to other aroid that is heart shaped small green leaves with long leaf petioles. Do you want to get bigger leaves in your monstera? Then there is one trick for you. If you observe any older leaves coming from the base of the plant, then remove it off. This will encourage monstera plant to develop new big leaves. Now let's understand what kind of light condition monstera plant requires. Find the balance between sunlight and shade. If your monstera is given too much light, their leaves will turn light yellow in color. To get lush green vigorous growth of the monstera plant, I would recommend keep your monstera plant in medium to bright indirect light. While it tolerates little low light area, but you may notice leggy growth of your plant. So ideal location is few feet away from south or west facing window. I have kept my monstera near the east facing balcony that gets partial light through a curtain. Many times people ask me or message me my monstera plant are not developing holes and splits on their leaves. Remember, the monstera leaves splits commonly only in the plant's more mature leaves and only if the plant is placed in ideal condition. If your monstera has plenty of light but no splits, just be patient. Generally, monstera grow in jungle wild green and lush green up to 20 feet tall with leaves that spread to nearly 2 feet wide. Monstera need big space so I would suggest keep your monstera 
in statement making place in your living room. So, it will get more ample space to grow rather than keeping in tidy corner or near window sill. One more pro tip for Monstera is they are climbing plants. They have aerial roots. So, they grow vertically on the trees and other plants in rainforest. So, it would be nice if you add some support like any stick or pole or any sphagnum moss stick nearby to guide its growth vertically. Rotate your plant periodically to ensure even growth on all sides and clean the leaves often so the plant can photosynthesize efficiently. About watering, water your monstera plant moderately and evenly. I water my monstera plant once in a week. Again, it depends on various factors such as weather condition, soil conditions. Before giving your plant a drink, it is better to check the moisture level in the soil. When you water, water thoroughly, allowing it to drain from the bottom of the container. Also consider aerating of your plant soil at regular interval by loosening the top few inches of the soil. This will allow absorption of water and nutrients by the roots. If you observe your monstera plant has developed yellow leaves, it could be the indication of overwatering. And if you observe your monstera plant has developed yellow leaves with some brown spots or some brown tips, it could be the indication of underwatering. So, please water your plants evenly. Monstera loves humidity. So, keep fairly humid environment around the plant. You can mist your monstera plant with water once or twice in a week. So, this resembles the rain it gets on its leaves in the rainforest. But remember, the combination of indoor air and lot of moisture can encourage bugs, fungi infection. So, while cleaning, check underside of the leaves regularly. While cleaning the monstera leaves, you can clean the leaves with fresh clean water or you can add some drops of liquid dish soap. Monstera plant is a tropical jungle plant, so they require nutrient rich dense soil that holds moisture, yet it should not be soggy. As if he fights with aerial roots, they are sensitive to overwatering, so they don't want to sit in soggy soil. So, use well draining potting mixture which contain coco peat so it, uh, it will help to retain the moisture in the soil and should contain some sand or perlite for well draining potting mix. Feeding is always essential if you want your plant lush green and their vigorous growth because we grow them in pots in limited space not like the forest they grow in the ground where the Plant root spreads wide in search of nutrients and frequent watering also drains away essential nutrient from the soil. So feed them regularly. As Monstera is known for their lush green foliage leaves, so it would be better if you feed them with nitrogen based fertilizer like vermicompost or seaweed liquid fertilizer. If you are adding vermicompost, add handful of vermicompost once in a month. One pro tip is here for adding fertilizer, if you are adding compost like vermicompost or cow dung manure, before adding it would be always better for scrapping off the few top inches of the soil with the help of kurpi or shovel and then mix the compost with the soil. This will allow well mixing and nutrient absorption in the soil. Monstera plant are easy to propagate. Generally, monstera are propagated by stem cutting method. You can put stem cuttings direct in water or you can put uh, cuttings in soil. Since they root easily, there are no need for rooting hormone. For cutting, all you need to do is take a cutting from bottom of the stem of healthy leaf. Cutting should be taken just after a leaf node, removing the bottom most leaves and put them in water. You could also put them directly in soil instead of doing water. I personally like to see the root grows before potting it. The other point that you have to remember about monstera plant is first to curb excessive growth, avoid 
a repotting of a leaf and prune them regularly. You can prune a leaf just by cutting the leaf with its petiole just above the aerial roots. At the time of pruning, never remove too many leaves at the same time and every pruned leaf can be used to produce new plant. About repotting, repot your monstera plant every 2 years. For repotting, use the pot that has 2 to 4 inches large diameter than previous one. Don't use too much big pot because it could drown the plant roots. Summer and late winter is the ideal time for repotting your monstera plant. One point of question I want to share with you is that if you have pets in your home like cats and dogs, keep away your monstera from them because monstera is toxic in nature. I hope this video will help you to know everything you need to know about this beautiful and elegant plant monster. This glossy foliage plant has long lifespan and this will reward you with its enchanting lacy foliage beauty for years and years. Thanks for watching. See you in the next fascinating video. Till then, happy gardening.